So simple factorising. And factorising is when we remove common factors from terms and put them outside brackets. It's the opposite to expanding. And this video is going to look at simple cases where there's only one common factor. So, first we look and we see the smallest number in the expression. If it divides out exactly, then we divide it out and put it outside the brackets. In this case, we see this, the 3 is the smallest number, and it goes into 6 twice. So when we take it out, we are left with the x and 2, because 3 out of 3x leaves x, and 3 out of 6 leaves 2. Try again, 5 goes into 24 times, so it's 5 lots of x plus 4, the 5 divided by out of 5x, and the 5 divided out of the 20. It's not the front number, it's the smallest number. In this case, the 3 goes into 15 5 times, so we do take out the 3, we're left with 5, and the k. Don't change the order unless you have to. Any negative sign stays exactly where they started. So, 2 goes into 6 3 times. So we have 2 brackets x minus 3 because the minus between the two terms stays between the two terms. And another example, this time 4 was the smallest number. It goes into 8 twice. So after we remove the 4, we are left with 2 and minus the x. Because when we multiply that back in, we get minus 4x. Sometimes there's no number term in common, there's an unknown. If the unknowns are in common, then we put them outside the brackets. So in this case, the x squared and the 6x share a common x because x squared is x times x, and 6x is x times 6. So, they factorise by taking that common x outside the brackets. We take it out of the x squared, take it out of 6x, that leaves us x plus 6. In this case, we have an a in common. So we take that common a out, it goes out in front, and we're left with the 5 and the other a inside our brackets. Again, don't change the order unless you have to. This case, pretty obvious what they have in common. They both have a y in common. We take that y out, leaving an x and a plus 3. Again, the negatives always say with the number that follows. In this case, we have an x in common, and they're separated by a minus, so they stay separated by a minus. The result of factorising should, when expanded, give the original expression back. So, in this case, 4 into x plus 5, if we expanded it out, would give us 4x plus 20, which means that 4x plus 20 factorises to 4 brackets x plus 5. They're opposite processes, they should yield each other. If they don't, you've done something wrong. They're the exact opposite. So, what have we learnt? We take the smallest number and we divide it out if we can. If instead there's an unknown in common, then we divide that outside the brackets. Any negative stays with what follows it and just pays not to change the order of the brackets. And the result should equal the opposite of expansion. 